Hi, I'm Dr. French, and I just wanted to put together this quick intro into the summer session uh, course. So we kind of had an idea of how the course was going to flow um, from week to week and just where the material was going to be, when it would be posted, um, what our deadlines were, um, and so forth. So I know the course you enrolled said it's going to be in person Monday through Thursday in Hall of Languages, room 105. Um, in the last few years, I've kind of done this course in a little bit different format after COVID-19 um, and creating a lot of online content and finding that students enjoyed that online content, especially in the summer. I've kind of moved this to a hybrid course, so we still have some material in person. So we will meet every Tuesday and Thursday, 10 to 11.45 in person in Hall of Languages, and then Wednesday, uh, Monday and Wednesday, that material will be posted asynchronously in Blackboard. Um, and what's nice about that is that you can work through that material at your own pace. You can work through that material when you feel like working through that material. You can work through that material as many times as you want to work through that material. Um, so all of those things kind of make that asynchronous component nice. And it also gives us a break um, if maybe you're working a part-time job or have something else going on in the summer, it gives you a little bit more flexibility. Um, I will have office hours after our lecture on Tuesday and Thursday. So we'll finish lecture at 1145 in Hall of Languages. I'll walk over to LSB, which is the Life Sciences Building. That's where you're going to have lab. Um, I'll have my office hours there, 12 to 1 in person. Um, if that doesn't work for you, just let me know. Send me an email. We can set up an appointment. Um, we could meet in person at a different time, or we could meet via Zoom if that's easier for you depending on your schedule. So that's some of the important information, um, right? So we're gonna use Blackboard quite a bit. We're gonna use PlayPosit, which I'll show you a little bit about that in a little bit. So a lot of the material is gonna be posted to Blackboard. So please check that regularly, especially this summer session, right? This is a 14 week course put in six weeks. So we're gonna be moving a little bit faster um, than we normally would be moving. And that means a lot of materials can be posted in a short period of time. Um, and our, our homework platform is this platform called Active. I'll talk about that in a little bit as well. So that's what we're going to be using. Blackboard, PlayPosit, which will be linked through Blackboard. That's free. And then Active, which does cost a little bit of money, but it's, it's a good platform. And I'll talk about it in a little bit. Right, so basics for us, attend lectures, participate in lecture, take notes, right? Chemistry is a challenging subject, and I think it's challenging because a lot of the calculations, and that's where I think practicing those calculations, taking notes while we're working through the material and practicing that will really help uh, go a long way when you're learning that new material, as does participating in lecture. I think that'll also go a long way um, as you're learning that new material. So all of those things, right? Attending lecture, participating when we're there, taking notes will be helpful. Um, asking questions, that really helps me a lot because I learned this material a long time ago and I've forgotten how I learned this material. So your questions, they slow down class and they also remind me that this was a challenging subject when I learned it for the first time. Um, I'll talk about the reading that's there. That's always helpful. The homework to help reiterate, to help reinforce um, the material we've covered in class and practice that. Um, and I'll make some review to practice exams as well available throughout the semester. So at the end of the day, really, I think practicing th this material is the most important part, especially the problems, the calculations, the problem solving. That's where that's really going to help you go a long way in this class. Um, if you don't have a calculator, right, we do need a calculator. You don't need anything too fancy. So this is a TI 30 XS. It's, it's 12 to $15 at target. This is all you need. You really need multiplication, division, um, exponents, probably square root as well. So you don't need a graphing calculator. If you don't have one, um, I can also bring some calculators to class if needed. So, um, if you don't have one, Maybe go grab one. If not, we can make do for the summer. All right, so this first material are Mondays and Wednesdays will be asynchronous, remember? So the syllabus, I'll do a little intro 
this is all asynchronous. Um, Tuesday, we're going to get together for the first time in person. We'll do some problem solving. We get to measurements, dimensional analysis. So that's where we're going to start the calculations. Um, periodic table, right? Molar mass, empirical formula, stoichiometry. This is where typically people kind of struggle with the material is stoichiometry. So kind of being able to look at a chemical reaction and interpret it the same way you would interpret a recipe, right? So we could look at a recipe to make a dozen or two dozen cookies. And we know that recipe tells us, you know, how much sugar, how much flour, how many chocolate chips, um, how much butter we're going to add to that recipe. Um, stoichiometry in chemistry is the same thing. It basically tells us how much of each reactant we need to add to the chemical reaction. So stoichiometry scares a lot of people, but it really, the same way we treat um, a recipe is the same way we can treat stoichiometry. Um, we're getting to thermochemistry, so light, uh, the behavior of light. From there, we're getting into electron configuration, periodic trends, ionization energy, electron affinity, chemical bonding, uh, Lewis structures, Vesper theory, uh, hybrid orbitals, and then a little bit of gas laws. And then our final exam, June 29th. You'll notice we only have two exams, the midterm Thursday, June 8th on the first five chapters, and then the final exam um, on the remaining four chapters. So chapter six through nine um, on June 29th. So the exams are not cumulative. That being said, you do need to know some of the material in chapter one through five um, because we need, we build on that and we'll use that in chapters six through nine. So it's not cumulative, but you do need to remember some of the material because we're going to be applying that earlier material as we go out throughout the course. For the textbook, hopefully you saw the link for that. We're going to be using this chemistry. Um, it's through the OpenStax, so it's free. Uh, as you see here, we can view it online. You can download a copy of it if you'd like. You could download a PDF of it if you'd like. You could print out sections of that PDF if you'd like. And if you really want a physical copy, you can order a print copy. I do not require that. Um, the online version is totally free. If you wanted to download that, that's totally free. If you wanted a print copy, that would cost money, but it's not a requirement. Um, it certainly is there. It's helpful. I won't cover all the material in the asynchronous component or in class. So that textbook is recommended um, if you want some extra exposure to the material as we're going. Right. So here are the chapters that we're covering, the first nine chapters. Um, chapter one, intro to chem, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So almost every week we're going to have a homework or two assignment due. So the first week we're just going to have chapter one due. The second week we will have two homework assignments due. We'll have chapter two and three. That may seem like a lot right now, but remember this is a 14 week class put into six weeks. So yeah, we're gonna be moving twice the speed we would normally move. Um, on top of this, we're gonna have two practice exams in there that'll be available. So our first practice exam will be right before the midterm. And then our practice final exam will be right before the final exam. Those will be a homework assignment. So you can kind of work through again at your own pace um, to help you prepare for the both the midterm and the final exam. So we're going to be using this active platform um, for this summer. And I kind of really like the platform because a lot of people struggle with the math of general chemistry. I like how it structures the calculations um, in a way that you can kind of visualize the dimensional analysis and visualize what units are canceling out. And so I'm gonna to switch to the screen to kind of show you how this homework platform um, works. So 